So we're working and we're designing for actual human beings, people. It's not just us out there. The clients are people and they're inhabitants of our buildings and they have emotions, they have feelings, and we have to expect complications that arise because of that. People are hard to read. They're difficult to understand and pretty much impossible to predict. You never know how someone's gonna to react to something. And I was recently helping out a young couple with some design work and we met over their home and went over their goals. And it, it, went, it was going very well and I did several sketches to help you know, formulate a scope of work and create a design proposal and the communication was going back and forth, it was great. And when I sent the proposal, it was, it was just crickets. Maybe they're surprised with a fee. Is it, you know, it was, it was reasonable. You just never know how someone's gonna react with what you present. This proposal must have, you know, sent them into a spiral of questions. Will they actually make the project happen? Is it possible? And this is a huge lesson for me. If they don't want to invest in the design, will they invest in the project itself? Will they do the right thing when it comes to building out the space? And most likely, no. It's kind of a red flag. It's again, unpredictable. We don't know. Maybe they'll do a fantastic job with the build out, but they don't value the design. Or do they value the design and they're thinking, how can they afford this? Either way, the communication has just gone dark. When it comes to situations like this, you can do two things. You can worry and think on it constantly and not really do much of anything. Or you can reach out, see if they had any questions, ensure that they received it to begin with and understand what the next steps are. Don't let the conversation die until they tell you no. And this happens all the time with us. We get timid. As designers, we shy away from asking the hard questions and getting out there and selling your design. You have to push a little to get the actual no, but once you get the no, it's then it's fine. The, you know, the project is not gonna move forward. You have to push a little to get the actual no. But once you get that no, it's fine. Then the project's not gonna move forward and you don't really have to assume what's going on. You have the answers you need. Reach back out to them. See if you can alleviate some of the insecurities they might be having with moving forward. Just don't sit there and ponder it because it's not gonna get you anywhere.